Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about another professional that you'll likely encounter on your road to recovery um, following a stroke. Um, and that's a speech language pathologist, uh, which are often called speech therapists um, in the hospital. Uh, again, kind of like the occupational therapy video, I don't want to um, give any illusions that I'm an expert in what these individuals do on a day-to-day -day basis um, because I'm not. And I would encourage you that if you are seeing one or are going to be seeing one in whatever setting that you happen to be dealing with at this time, that you ask them questions and and get more details from them um, and don't rely on this video solely. Um, so I can say that a speech language pathologist is an invaluable professional, very, very important, uh, who focuses on a patient's ability to speak, process words, reading comprehension, money management, word association, swallowing. They do a lot of swallowing uh, studies and making sure that you're safe um, when you're eating and drinking. Uh, so that you don't choke and particular uh, and, and cause further harm to, to yourself. Um, they will commonly be referred after a stroke because a lot of times the nerves and the muscles that help us swallow after a stroke are impaired, um, and that that develops uh, causes a, a risk for choking um, and uh, causing. Uh, issues with our with our lungs and and different things getting into our respiratory system that that are not good for it. So they are commonly referred to for that specifically. And then some folks um, who have difficulty speaking, whether it's getting words out or understanding words, uh, are often referred to speech therapy as well. And they have many different strategies and things like that, that they can uh, use to sort of get the ball rolling and get you understanding speech or speaking clearly again. Um, I make it sound simple. This is a very long process. Um, it takes a lot of practice. Uh, it takes a lot of hard work on both your part and the speech and language pathologist part uh, to make that thing happen. So, um, but um, if you're having difficulty understanding language, trouble speaking, difficulty swallowing, high level issues that require a lot of processing in your brain, um, that those are definitely things that you will be seeing an SLP for. Uh, because they're responsible for swallowing problems, they often give recommendations or they will give recommendations for the diet that you were on while you were in the hospital or even when you go home. Um, they can be a normal diet um, if your swallowing is not affected or it's improved uh, to a point where they believe you can be on a normal diet or it will be altered in some way. Um, altered diets can include uh, a pureed diet, um, food that's ground up, so a ground diet, finely chopped, so the food will be finely chopped up, and then uh, and then just chopped. Um, these distinctions all sound very similar to each other and all have very similar yet distinctive definitions um, that can get really confusing even if I were to say them out loud now. So this is something I will say, uh, consult your SLP about. If they give you a diet recommendation and it is not normal, ask them what it means for you personally, what sorts of food can you eat, um, and how should it be prepared? Um, that way nobody's confused and you don't eat anything that could put you at risk for choking. Um, they also uh, do liquid diets as well. Um, so if you are drinking uh, water and it makes you choke, they might um, thicken the liquid that you're drinking. So that we do have thickened water and thickened juices and things like that um, that are easier for folks to swallow than a thin liquid would be. Um, so that's also something they do. Um, in addition to this, they have different types of cups and things that limit the amount of liquid you can drink at a time. So often like five milliliters at a time, so very little to decrease the risk for, for choking um, because a lot of folks will drink very, very fast um, and it's more easy to choke or to get liquid into your lungs um, and cause and cause issues uh, down the road. So uh, often something that they that they will do in the hospital specifically. Usually by the time people discharge from the hospital, um, hopefully they've progressed to a point where they're not on so many restrictions. But all things that an SLP does, uh, as I said before, invaluable professional who um, can kind of guide you and help give you ideas uh, on how to approach uh, some of the more frustrating issues uh, with language such as 
uh, getting words out uh, or understanding what people are saying to you or even something like money management, which you would think would be so simple but is, is very difficult for you because of the stroke, um, they will give you strategies to, uh, to help out with that. They will give your family member strategies to help you once you are discharged. Um, so a professional I would advise you to talk to a lot if you are seeing them, um, both about those strategies, about your diet, um, and your swallowing, uh, just so that everybody is safe uh, when they go home. So uh, I will leave it there, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.